This video will deal with the process of installing Silk Central. There's two options which are available for the installation of Silk Central. The first option allows you to not only install Silk Central, but also to have MS SQL Express installed as part of the installation to be used as your database repository. This is ideal if you're installing for the purpose of an evaluation and you need a database repository available to you and you don't wish to use your existing instances. The second option is that you can connect to your own existing database repository, whether that be Oracle or SQL. And at the end of the Silk Central install, you'll have the option to connect to this if you chose not to use SQL Express. This video, however, will deal with the process of installing with MS SQL Express. Once you start up your install wizard, it will go through the process of extracting the Nessa Silk Central files to your machine. The process of extracting the files to your machine may take a moment or two. Once the files have extracted, you'll be presented with an install shield wizard, which will allow you to walk through the installation. When you select next, you'll be presented with the options for install. First option being able to choose the language that you install Silk Central in. You've got the choice of English, German, French, Japanese, and simplified Chinese. You'll then be able to open the release note and open the install guide to get further insight into the installation and configuration. This install will perform in English. When we select next, it will allow us then to continue through the install process. And the first option being allowing us to review the license agreement and accept the terms and conditions. When we then select next, we'll be presented with the first option, if you have IIS as a web server installed on your machine, you will get a pop-up box to say that the system has detected you have IIS. The standard for Silk Central is we do provide a Tomcat web server, which is installed as part of Silk Central. But you do have the option of what you use. Now, this option only appears if you have IIS. Once I select OK, I'll then have the option to select the setup type. Typically, you're going to perform a Silk Central standard install, which means we'll use the Tomcat web server. However, what we can do is look at the Silk Central custom options to understand the options that are available for install. When we select this option and select next, it will show us the components that we look to install. And this really shows the different assets we install on your machine. Now, if it did detect that you had IIS on your machine, then you would see an option in here to say use Microsoft Internet Information Services. It's not selected as here by default, we select the Silk Central web server and use Tomcat. Now, if you hadn't seen that prior pop-up box indicating IIS, it indicates that it has not detected IIS on your machine. So we're going to work with Tomcat. I'm now going to select back and I'm now going to select the Silk Central standard install process. And this will take the default options as I form my install. At the bottom, we can see the destination path as to where Silk Central will be installed to. If we wish to change this, we can select browse and then choose a different location for install. Next screen just gives you a summary of the install options that you've chosen. And when we select next is the point where it actually starts installing into your environment. You'll see in the middle of the screen, you'll have an update being provided to you as to what is happening as part of the install. Now the process of installing Silk Central will take a number of minutes. You'll have a progress bar which will talk you through the different options and the progress that is being made as part of the installation. And as indicated, this will take a number of minutes. Once that's completed, you will be presented with a licensing option. Now, if you're installing this as part of an evaluation, you will at this point leave this selected as evaluation. And on this screen, you will see that you're 
provided with 45 days to eval the product. And it's on this screen here where you'll see the first option to install with SQL Server 2008 Express. And it's at this point, because I'm installing with SQL Server 2008 Express, I will select this option to request this being installed as part of my installation. If you do not select this box, then it will assume you are connecting to an existing database repository. Once I select next, it will start the install of SQL Server 2008 Express. And the process of installing SQL Server will take a number of minutes. Again, you will have updates on the screen for progress. Once SQL Server Express has been installed, you'll notice it will import a demo database into that database for you. And this will give you sample data to use for evaluation. Once that has completed, it will start the services and present you with the install wizard complete screen. At this point here, you'll have the option to look at further information for how to configure Silk Central and to open the release notes. Once we select finish here, it will then open up the how to configure Silk Central and provide you some guidance and some information as good reference points for how to move forward. You'll see here that you have high level overview of features and functions that are available, what's new, tutorials, demonstrations, as well as online resources such as Borland.com and the Microfocus and Borland community site. So it's a great point to look for information. When I close this down, we'll then be able to see that when we select the start menu, all programs, we'll see an option called Silk that has been created on your menu. Under Silk, you'll then see Silk Central 15 option. And within this, we'll then see Silk Central homepage, which is the main URL, as well as administration tools and documentation. When I select this option, it's going to open up your browser and it will start up Silk Central. At the top, we'll see the URL, which can be given to other users to access Silk Central. Now, the username and password to start using Silk Central is admin admin.